Septic tank is done too, but we'll spare you of that part. <laughs> Just had breakfast at the uh, Salt, what was it called? Salt Cafe, Cafe and, and Bistro. It was good. Relatively inexpensive too. There's not much breakfast people here. They had some pastries and paninis and You notice coffee. most of the restaurants, uh, if you're here in Iceland, you may want to have your breakfast with you because most restaurants don't open until 10 or 11, really 11. Uh, right here. And they don't really have what we call breakfast foods like eggs pancakes, things like that. But one of the other misconceptions that I had read or heard before I got here is that the food in Iceland is uh, not that great. And I'm gonna have to respectfully disagree with that. Everything that we've had so far, I mean, we've done a lot of our own cooking, which I recommend you do, especially for breakfast, like we said, if you're an RV, but every time we've eaten out, uh, it's been good. It's been really fresh. Um, and it's not as, ex I mean, there are some things that are expensive, but you can definitely pick some items that are less expensive. They're very, very tasty. Everything is super fresh here. I'm assuming they ship in everything, except for like the fish and some, they have cattle and, but the vegetables and everything else. And they're, they seem to be pretty healthy. They have a lot of juice bars and, um, or smoothies and things like that. So now we're going off to hike to uh, burn our breakfast. All right, we made it to Hangenfoss, which is a two mile hike or two kilometer hike to this waterfall here. She's already ahead of me, I better catch up. About halfway up, completely uphill. Is it worth it? Yes. Okay, let's go. After lava solidifies, the rock continues to cool for a considerable time, forming columns that are frequently hexagonal. Such columns always lie at right angles to the cooling surface and are therefore vertical in lava layers and horizontal intrusions. We made it to the top, two and a half kilometers straight up. Once you get to the southeast corner of the uh, of Iceland, there is a piece of uh, one, as we're seeing here, that uh, is not paved for a while. There is nothing. This is very, very desolate, but it's pretty smoothed out. Not too difficult, you just gotta slow down a little bit. How's it going back there? Good. Good. Lunch. Lunch, is, lunch is being made. What do you think of this road? So one of the things that we definitely had to do while we were here, traveling on the east side, there's a lot of discreet um, natural hot water springs. We found one, so. Uh... Ready? Did you enjoy the natural hot springs? focus there we go you know it just doesn't a good road trip and long-term travel trip without some sort of catastrophe which we have now just had 
So, uh, after seeing a nice scenic shot to take over and take some uh, drone shots, which I think I'm still going to do, we pulled over into what we thought was some hard gravel, which we've done multiple times. Yeah. Uh, it turns out it's not so hard and there's mud beneath it. And, uh, well, come see for yourself. Ta-da! We are stuck and I have tried moving forward and backwards and uh, I've just made it worse. So, but at least we're in this spot. So we've called the local office that rented us. Uh, thank you, Camper Van Iceland. Uh, and uh, we're gonna have some tow come down here and take these two idiots out of the mud. Two hours later. Oh, it came undone. It came undone. Something's hanging from the front. Yay! I don't know, whatever that is, I'm gonna rip it off. It's kind of ironic that we had uh, this nice uh, hot spring bath overlooking the beautiful mountains and lake, only to be followed by getting stuck in the mud. The most unromantic thing that could have happened. <laughs> Can't let that ruin our day, can we? No. So what are we going to do now? We're going to try to find camping. It also doesn't help that the horse manure on the side here is palpable. I can actually taste it on my car. Yeah, it's pretty right. So after a rather challenging day, uh, we decided to treat ourselves to a nice meal at this restaurant in town in Hoffa, Iceland. Ready? Yeah. So we're having a traditional, uh, what is it, wild goose and lamb? Smoking charcoal, I guess, so it gets a smoky flavor. Looks good. Mm, delicious shrimp. Is it good? Linguista. Linguista. It's very good. It's very fresh. Stand off. Or they're going to kiss. <laughs> Well, that was unclimactic. Come on, ram him. Oh, okay. Oh, sneak attack. Oh. <laughs> These are the wimpiest rams I've ever seen. <laughs> 